so today I'm talking about a P0181 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0181 code? Well, it's a fuel temperature sensor, a circuit range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a fuel temperature sensor that's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the fuel is. And since the density of the fuel can change depending on the temperature, the computer can use this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders, which can really fine tune the engine when it's running. But when you get this P0181 code, the computer's seeing a problem with the sensor, and so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to mention about this P0181 code is that if you live inside of a climate that gets very cold, that can trigger fuel temperature sensor code sometimes. Usually the temperature needs to get really cold, like negative 20 degrees or negative 30 degrees, something along those lines. But if the temperature is very cold outside, like at least negative 20 and you get this P0181 code, it is possible that the temperature is just really cold and it triggered this code. And so what are some possible causes of a P0181 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that fuel temperature sensor, that it's just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. It is very common for these to be located on the fuel pump, usually inside the gas tank, but they can also be located like up at the fuel rail or on the gas line going up to the engine. It could really vary. So it can be a good idea to get a diagram where all these sensors are located that way you know for sure what's going on. These fuel temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is basically a resistor whose resistance changes as the temperature changes. So you can use a multimeter to test it and check to see if it's gone bad. And basically to do this, you look up what the rated values are supposed to be for that particular sensor. Since there can be differences between these sensors, you check to see what the temperature is. And then using ohms, you see if it falls inside that range. So for example, here's a fuel temperature sensor chart. And if the temperature is 86 degrees Fahrenheit and you check it using ohms, the resistance value should be 24.7 or very close to that. And if it is, then it means it's good. But if the ohms are way higher than that or way lower than that, then you know it's bad, you know it needs to be replaced. But if you can look up the rated values for that sensor and you have a multimeter, you can't go and test to see if it has failed. The next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of problem with the wiring going to that sensor. Basically, there's like an open, there's a short, a blown fuse, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and get wiring schematics for that vehicle and go and check the wires and be sure everything's good. It is very common for these sensors to be getting 5 volts going to them. Again, it's a good idea to get a wiring diagram for that vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But it is very common for 5 volts to be going to these. So for example, one wire going to that sensor is going to have 5 volts. As it goes through that thermistor, the voltage is going to drop based on what the temperature is. And then it's going to come out the other side and go back to the computer. And the computer could do its calculations based on this voltage drop and know what the temperature of the fuel is. So again, if you have a multimeter, you can go check and be sure you're getting voltage and the signal wire going back to the computer that it's good. Because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of problem inside the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0181 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.